Okay, so we're going to go up and down past the set of knots now. Uh, so this isn't something you're going to do often outside of a training centre, uh, but here we're going to assume that there's been two bits of damaged rope. So you could tie an alpine butterfly, and you'd want to have the damage at least 100 millimetres away from the knot, and then you could come down past that, and then the rope should be getting changed out as soon as possible. So when I go up to the knots, I'm not going to clip into the knot as a point of contact, we're going to assume that's damaged. So I'll climb up to the knots. So you want your hand ascender nice and high. As you stand up, left hand up the rope, crawl comes off. Put it straight back on again. And now we can remove the descender. And that's me up past it. So I'll carry on up a little bit higher. So I'm using duck every time I make a move up, just slide it up using the carabiner. And now I'll change over for coming back down. So uh, we'll get back into my descender. I'm going to tidy the foot loop away. And I'm going to have to hold down until I get stuck on the knot. So I'm going to pull the duck down, descend a little bit, and I'm going to come right down onto the knot. Now this time, you don't need to worry about locking your descender, the knot's going to do that for you. And I want to leave my back up as high as possible for as long as possible. So I'm now got to concentrate and get my descender below the knot. So I need to add a point on, and I'm going to use my crawl, but I'm not going to put that below the knot, I need to put it above the knot. Hand centers coming back out. Get stood up. So that's taking the weight off my descender. And I'm going to put the descender straight back on again, but underneath the knot. Now as usual, you want to get rid of as much of this slack rope as possible, so I'm going to pull the knot right against the descender, lock it off this time. But if I take the crawl off, I'm going to drop down quite a long way, so I need to get rid of the rest of that slack, and to do that, I'm going to reverse down, using my crawl. I can then pull my back up down, I've already moved my hand descender, so this time, when I come out of the crawl, Everything's nice and easy to reach. The hand ascender comes off. And then, last thing is moving the back up. So I'll get my spare back up out. Once I've got that one added on, take that one off. And that's me ready to descend. 